Welcome to Electro Online. In this video, we're going to see the advantages also of the scalar product, meaning we can find the angle between two vectors. It's a really good tool to find the angle between two vectors. So here we have vectors A and B. The angle between them is theta, and the objective is to find the angle between them, knowing that these are the magnitude, not the magnitude, but the x, y, and z components of each of the two vectors. Let me show you why we can do that. Well, for one thing, we know that A dot B, or the what we call the scalar product between vectors a and b is equal to the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b times the cosine of the angle between them. We also know that the scalar product between vectors a and b is equal to the product of the x components, the y components, and z components added together. In other words, a sub x times b sub x plus a sub y times b sub y plus a sub z times b sub z which means that we can write as follows. We can say that a times b times the cosine of the angle between them is equal to ax bx plus ay by plus az bz, which means we can divide both sides by a times b, or the cosine of theta is equal to ax bx plus ay by plus az bz, divided by the product of the magnitude of the a and b, and finally, that means we can find the angle theta by taking the arc cosine or the inverse cosine of this quantity, ax bx plus ay by plus az bz, all divided by the magnitudes of a and b, multiplied together. And so this now becomes our tool by using the, what we call the, scalar product or dot product between two vectors to find the angle between them. So here we have a and b, let's see if we can do that. Since we're going to need to know the magnitude of a and b, let's calculate the magnitudes of a and b right here. So the magnitude of a is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. So that would be 3 squared plus a negative 1 squared plus 2 squared, which is equal to 9 plus 1 is 10. That would be the square root of 14. The magnitude of b is equal to the square root of 2 squared plus 4 squared plus a negative 5 squared. So it would be 25 plus 16 is 41 plus 4 is 45, so the square root of 45. And so therefore, I can say that theta is equal to the arc cosine of ax times bx, so that would be 3 times 2 plus minus 1 times 4 plus 2 times a minus 5, all divided by the square root of 14 times the square root of 45. Quickly checking, 25, 35, 41, 45. That is correct. All right, so therefore theta is equal to the arc cosine of, that would be 6 minus 4 minus 10, all divided by the square root of 14 times 45, that's a 5, I'm trying to be 5, all right, theta is equal to the arc cosine of, that would be minus 14 plus 6, that would be minus 8, divided by the square root of 14 times 45, and at this point we need a calculator, there it is. So we have, take 14 times 45, take the square root of that, the inverse of that, and times 8 minus equals, and so that means that we have theta is equal to the arc cosine of minus 0 0.3187, 3187, and if we take the arc cosine of that, we get 108.6 degrees, so this is equal to 108.6 degrees. So that's the beauty of this particular uh, dot product or scalar product, that it's a really handy tool to find the angle between any two vectors, and that's how it's done.